Now going into Labor Day weekend, it is going to kind of be a mix of weather and got some good news uh, tomorrow. Not good news. It will be hot. It will be humid. Maybe one or two storms doesn't look like a washout, but are certainly a summer like day. Now going into Sunday, lower humidity going to be moving in. It will still be hot in the lower 90s, uh, but it's not going to feel as hot. Notice our rain chance is low on Sunday and low on Monday. Can't roll out a downpour too, but it looks like they'll be pretty isolated as we get some drier air in here. So tomorrow is going to be quite hot. Heat index value. 105 to 107, but look at this Sunday barely even have a heat index value because of the dry air and it looks like that dry air will linger into Monday before a lot of that moisture returns by Tuesday. You can see that with our dew point forecast. These aren't temperatures or dew point temperatures uh, and anytime you start to get in the 60s with dew points, the 50s with dew points, that's that nice feeling air. Notice it'll move in Sunday night and by Sunday we got a lot of that dry air, especially on the North Shore and then might even see some of that drier air even filter down towards uh, Homa and even towards the coast. So a little bit of a tree uh, with that nice feeling air and it's going to stick around at least through Monday. You see that push of dry air there uh, as we go throughout your Sunday lingering into Monday and unfortunately it's not going to last forever. By Tuesday you start to see that moisture return ahead of our next cold front. Now this one might not bring us colder air, uh, but it could certainly bring us some drier air as we go into the back end of next week. So still about a week away on that one. Notice rain chance is pretty low on Sunday and Monday goes back up Tuesday and really all of next week is looking quite unsettled uh, with regards to rain chances each and every uh, day out in the tropics. Very, very busy. Notice we got a lot of spots highlighted. We've got tropical waves. We've got what's left of Omar, a non tropical low. We've got an area of moisture. A lot of people have asked about all those storms. That's not really expected to develop into anything. It's just a plume of moisture that could bring us some higher rain chances as we go into next week ahead of that cool front. But Notice not very organized and there's a lot of wind shear that that's going to be fighting, so not really concerned about it. What we will be watching kind of long term and uh, these tropical waves, medium chance with this one of development. We've got a high chance with Invest 92 as it moves west, and then we've got a low chance that Invest 91 tries to develop. So of course the main one over the next probably five days or so is going to be Invest 92L as it drifts towards uh, the west with development likely over the next five days. Now the good news, while we have all the chances for this development out here just off the coast of Africa, it's looking like our steering pattern will be good for the United States with regards to where these things could go. What should set up next week once these things develop? We'll have a ridge off the east coast, uh, which typically is not good, but when you have systems forming so far to the west, uh, they can actually kind of work their way into this weakness here in between the two ridges. So that's why we think these, uh, at least over the next five days, five to seven days, are more than likely going to turn out to see. So that is the good news. Of course, this pattern is not going to hold forever, and we will we're still watching every tropical wave closely. It looks like these could be fish systems uh, if they develop over the next five to seven days or so. So no immediate tropical threats here. That is certainly uh, great news. Peak of hurricane season is over the next about week and a half to two weeks. Uh, so watching things closely, but our weather actually quite nice going into Sunday and Monday and then that humidity and rain chances go up as we go into the middle and end of next week. Well,